SA Health was asked to provide a workforce for the COVID surge pandemic that occurred in 2020-2021 um, and here within Narlan and the critical care division we were able to put on in a short period 70 new staff all that many that have not had any sort of um, training in the ICU critical care environment and we have been able to um, bring them up to a standard where they care for the sickest um, patients within the organisation. From an education perspective, our staff have had to um, be quite resilient and also lend their expertise to all the junior staff. So we've had lots of support from our clinical nurses um, to provide orientation and ongoing education support to these staff at the bedside. Um, it's been really hard um, and challenging, but it's something that our team has really risen to. We interviewed over 110 um, prospective employees. So we had a major, it was quite busy January um, and we've uh, continued to recruit. Well, I think the benefits probably impact, ultimately impacts our patients and our ability to provide high quality care um, to our patients is the main goal. But it's also impacted our workforce. So, you know, yes, we might be a very junior workforce now with over two thirds of our shifts. We've got junior staff on supported by the senior staff that we have. But looking forward to the future, we're building a capable and resilient sort of workforce in our unit.